identify the minimum of this function. All right, so in the previous problem, we identified the maximum of this function. So I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit, uh, skip through the steps, watch the previous video if you want the full work. But essentially, we found the first derivative, which was 27 minus 3x squared. We solved this for 0, and we got critical points at plus and minus 3. When we make our little map, we had negative 3 and positive 3. Then we plugged in negative 4, 0, and 4 into our derivative, and we found that all the values to the left of negative 3 are negative, all the values to the right of positive 3 are negative, and all the values between negative 3 and 3 were positive, which gives us roughly something that looks like this, where there was a maximum at 3 and a minimum at negative 3. So all we have to do to calculate the full coordinate is plug in negative 3 into our original equation, like this, 27 times negative 3 minus negative 3 to the third power, and that equals negative 54, so our answer is A.